Well, hello, dollhouse people. Whitney Labrie here, and I'm glad you stopped by because I'm pretty tired of cleaning this space. This space, which is going to actually become the new bathroom in my Garfield dollhouse. So I hope you enjoy watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment below, and enjoy the video. This week, I'm going to be working on the flooring to the bathroom, and what I've decided to do is do like a beach flooring so like a rustic beach flooring and here's kind of my inspiration photos right here so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to cut down my popsicle sticks uh, if you've watched any other videos of my flooring you'll know that i've done this before and i have additional videos on that and then i just coat them first in this red mahogany and let them dry and once they dry, I just glue them down. Super simple in the pattern that you kind of see here. I blue taped down everything because sometimes um, they want to lift up and I'm using wood glue, just um, normal Elmer's wood glue um, for those of you that want to know. So for the bathroom, I'm going to use this scrapbook paper that I found at a local hobby store. I love this pattern. I think it's super cute. And I think it's going to go really well with the flooring the way I'm going to do it. So for matching purposes, this is the paint that I'm using. And you can see kind of with the wallpaper in the background that this goes pretty well. And I'm going to not use any water. So I'm going to dry brush this white paint over the mahogany wood flooring, as you can see here. And then once I do that, I will take a paper towel and I'll just rub right over it and just pull up any additional paint. And I'll just continue this process pretty much through the whole thing. And what's really nice is because you're wiping it down with that paper towel, by the time you get to the next level, the next step, it, the paint's already dry, so you don't need to worry about it mixing together. So I loved the way the floor looked, really honestly, at this point. And in the future, I think I'm going to do this and just leave it as is with this kind of cream color. Because I really like the way it looked. I thought it looked awesome. Super rustic. But I want to add a little bit more color because I'm trying to go with this other like, beachy feel. And so I just did the next steps again. Now this time I did the blue on the top and I dry brushed that over it and not over painting because I do want some of that mahogany color to shine through. I really want to be able to see that. And then you can see now this is with the blue coat and that cream color coat. And again, I, I really like the way it looks. And so now I'm just gonna do one more coat, which is adding the pink. And the pink, I didn't do everywhere. I didn't brush it over everything like I did the teal and the cream color. I just put it in certain spots. I don't wanna overdo it with the pink. I'm just highlighting a little bit because the bathroom appliances are all pink. So this is not the same shade of pink because I don't want it to be super matchy matchy. I just wanna highlight that pink color. And you can see that I'm kind of brushing it into the, the joints of the wood, kind of where they come together, kind of highlighting those areas. What I do next, um, because I did want the mahogany to shine in a little, shine through a little bit more in certain areas. So I just went back over it and I just sanded it out. And the sanding is good for not just the, to bring some of that mahogany off and take some of that paint extra off there, I didn't like it. It's also going to sand down the flooring and make it nice and even. I would definitely say that this is the ugly phase of the project, but I know that it's gonna be really beautiful. I can vision it in my mind. And we will get back to the next step, which is actually building out the walls. You can see in this picture, I've kind of started out a little bit That'll give you a little tease for next week where we'll be building up the wainscoting, the walls, the doors, and all of the trim. And it's going to be fantastic. So thank you so much for watching. And always, I totally appreciate your subscriptions, your likes, your views, your comments. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. It means the world to me. And if you can't get enough miniatures and other fun stuff like me, 
please follow me on my Facebook page at Whitney Libri Events. And for those of you who are interested in purchasing pre-owned miniatures for your own dollhouse and accessories, you can visit my eBay site, which is Whitney1614, and the link is in the description. So now get back to your own dollhouse projects, and we'll see you next week. Bye!